President Putin says Russia has actively prepared to intervene in Belarus. Uh, Lukashenko asked me to create a reserve police force for him, so I did. We agreed that it would not be used unless the situation gets out of control. It won't be used until the moment when extremists, I would like to highlight that word, using political slogans, cross the line until they start to loot, set cars, houses and banks on fire and try to take over administration buildings and so on. Putin's comments follow mass protests in Belarus. This was Thursday in Minsk. They began nearly three weeks ago when President Lukashenko declared overwhelming victory in elections. His opponents say it was rigged to ensure Lukashenko's 26-year rule would continue. He denies allegations of electoral fraud and says the crisis is born of foreign meddling. Yet these people say they have legitimate grievances. Many involve police behaviour. We came here to demonstrate that we are against locking people down in a church, as riot police did yesterday, against the violence towards people at peaceful rallies. We are here for the law to finally be practised in our country, not what our valiant law enforcement make up in their heads. On Thursday, police detained dozens of journalists in Minsk and confiscated their documents. The Interior Ministry said it was to check their accreditation. Most have now been released. Thousands of protesters have been arrested, including prominent activists. Opposition leader Svetlana Tsihanouskaya has fled to Lithuania. Opposition Council member Maria Kolesnikova was questioned on Thursday. All Belarusians have been oppressed in the past 26 years, and especially during the last three months. I was treated very politely. Belarus is not just facing an internal political struggle. It is at the heart of geopolitical tensions as a buffer between Russia and NATO members. I think that uh, Lukashenko's behavior actually signals his weakness, because if you remember ahead of the election, he was warning about Russia's intervention to destabilize the situation. And now he seems to have switched um, the target and he's warning about the West, uh, Western intervention. Turning to Russia to create a reserve police force has increased the stakes for protesters and has not been received well by NATO or Poland. Charlotte Bellis, Al Jazeera.